Hello guys, thank you so much to one of our favorite sponsors of all time, Cozy Earth, for sponsoring today's video. Absolutely obsessed with everything Cozy Earth. I know you're gonna think we're just saying this because this is an ad, but I will not take these off. They sent us these amazing jogger sets. It's like <laughs> Louis Vuitton, yeah. okay? I go in my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing, Catch me at the movies, catch me at the grocery store, and they're really classy, so like maybe catch me at work too. Yes. Like honestly, I wore mine on the I airplane and mm -hmm. it was just like the perfect mm -hmm. temperature, the yes. perfect softness. Uh -huh. I am buying every single person I love a pair of these cozy earth sheets. They feel like pure luxury, heaven. Literally surrounding myself yes. with a little bit of heaven. I'm like so literally good. embarrassed about how much I love getting into bed at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I think I say it out loud. And also they sent us some towels Ooh. and they're like bamboo towels. The best part, they get softer the more you wash them. Yes, this too. Yeah. I've washed mm -hmm. this like five times mm -hmm. and it has not changed. If Ooh. you want to spoil someone or yourself mm -hmm. for the holidays this year, this is honestly at the top of my list. Mm -hmm. It's any product they have on their website will be an absolute hit. You can use our code POPCORN40 to get 40% off your purchase. Best way to say happy holidays is to give someone something from Cozy Earth. So comfy cozy. Good. <laughs> they really are the Been softest you can imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay, POPCORN40. Let's watch a movie. Thanks again, Can't Cozy wait. Earth. Hey guys, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Hi everyone. If you're new here, this is a bed, not a fancy couch. Some people think oh, it's like a Chesterfield. That's funny. <laughs> we are in a bed and we just like to lay in bed, watch movies, get comfy cozy, and Try here we go. Sometimes. So this is Carly's first out of many months popcorn pick of the month. And she chose Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Why did you choose Jerry Maguire? Well, I chose Jerry Maguire because I know it's a rom-com mm -hmm. that, surprisingly, I haven't seen. It's funny, I actually had this work presentation that I was like trying to make a little bit more fun, so I added some like scenes from chick flicks that related to the topics from it, and I used a Jerry Maguire scene, but I've never seen the movie. So you were like, got the taste of it. You yeah. wanted mm -hmm. to see what I mean, that scene it was, was the show me the money scenes. I don't think it has a ton to do with the movie. So in full disclosure, mm -hmm. I have seen this once just by myself in college in my bed. Don't remember a ton about it except Tom Cruise, Renee Zellweger. We've been, of course, on this Tom Cruise kick for a while. Yeah, so this only makes <laughs> sense. It. So this will be the first movie that you have not seen and I have seen. Yes. Uh -huh. So it'll be kind of fun. And I'm excited too because this is like, I mean, holiday weekend. I feel like this is something I'd watch on my own regardless. Totally. Even though I'm very happy that this experience has made me watch a lot more movies that I normally wouldn't, mm -hmm. but this is one like I would straight up choose and be like, so yeah, watch. So yeah, I think it's gonna here be Here we good. go. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so just really quick, here is my Patreon. It's a beautiful community of movie lovers. Mm -hmm. You get to help pick what I watch next, give me suggestions, a little bit more intimate over there. We have a really active Discord. And then if you're new here, I would love if you hit subscribe. And if you hit this bell, then you get notified when we release new videos, which, come on. What a time, yes. we love it. Okay, let's watch Jerry Maguire. I'm Jerry actually Maguire. so excited. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, he directed something else I like. See, America still sets the tone for the world. In Odessa, Texas, Frank Cushman. That's that guy. All over themselves to sign him in the next NFL draft. He's my client, my most important client. It's like popcorn in the pan. Some pop, some don't. I'm the guy. That's right, he's a sports agent. agent. I'm the sports agent. You and I both know there's a number you can afford. We can move forward from there. <gasps> times five? Did that say 14 million yeah. times five? Yeah. That's me on the left. SMI, Sports Management International. I handle the lives and dreams of 72 clients, get an average of 264 phone calls a day. It's what I do. Can you sign my card? I'm sorry, little fella. I can't sign this particular brand of card. Only Pro Jam Blue Dot cards. Lately, it's gotten worse. Oh! I gotta play this weekend, Doc. Playing 65% of my game to get a bonus. I gotta get the bonus. He's Canadian. I gotta get the <laughs> bonus. <laughs> yeah. 
This is his fourth concussion. Shouldn't somebody get him to stop? It would take a tank to stop your dad. Oh, wait. No, he should stop. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh. Who would I become? I couldn't escape one simple thought. I hated myself. Oof. I don't know. Here's what it was. I hated my place in the world. Wait. Wow. I had so much to say and no one to listen. And then it happened. I began writing what they call a mission statement. You know, a suggestion for the future of our company. What started out as one page became 25. <gasps> Sports oh. and rom-coms. <laughs> I'm here for this. School, the way a stadium sounds when one of my players performs well on The way we are meant to protect them in health. So many clients, we had forgotten what was important. Suddenly, it was all pretty clear. The answer was fewer clients, less money. More attention, caring for them, starting our lives. I don't think this is gonna go over well. Less no. money, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Printed up 110 copies. Even the cover looked like the catcher in the rye. I entitled it, The Things We Think and Do Not Say. The future of our business. That's how you become great, man. Hang your balls out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What year did this come out, do you know? I can't remember. They got a copy. They're dangerous animals <gasps> in the world. Oh, he just went ahead and, yeah. okay. Nothing kicked in in the morning. He just went for it. I like it. Me too. I don't know if the CEO is going to like it. Yeah. I... Listen, did those manuscripts get... Oh. Well, they did. <sighs> now he had the morning <laughs> after. Do you think anyone read it? Oh. Yep. <laughs> Finally, somebody said it. Do you think this is a dream? No. But just because they like it doesn't mean the boss will like it. But hopefully, yeah, but if numbers it, will help. But yeah. The... It started my life. About a week. Oh shoot. Bobby Fallon, BPI. I'm producing the Coke commercials for the playoffs. Really allergic to the material on the blanket. Well, that's all we have. Why is it so easy to talk with you? Honey, are you all right? Do you want some juice? That's um, Stuart a little. That's what I was thinking. Wait, what's his his name? Now at this point, she knows. Check back into the Pro Bowl Hotel. And little do I know that my assistant has assumed that I've now proposed to actually play Here Comes the Bra. And there's even an ESPN crew. Do you think he's BSing right now? Or... I have no idea. I took out the ring. She said yes right there in the lobby. We're getting married in February. You two are going to be married forever. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh, he's so cute. I know. He used to be a better <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Can I help you? Jerry McGuire. I work in your office. I was on a junket. What did you lose? My son, my mind. Ray! <laughs> Why don't you grab this curious gentleman right here? <laughs> oh my gosh. He's adorable. <laughs> He's so cute. I loved your memo. Mission State. You did? I think in this age, optimism like that is a revolutionary act. I was inspired, and I'm an accountant. <laughs> Do you need a ride? Are you, you're okay? I'm sure that would just make your day, huh? Each making that left on little tiny Waterloo Street, playing chicken with the oncoming trap. She's very quirky, and I yeah. love her. <laughs> There's my sister, Laurel. Ray, Dorothy, pleasure. Hi. So you think it's gonna have a real fiance, but it's the classic. Classic. She's just like kind of the worst. Yeah, but she's gonna be some like, like snobby little. Yeah. Oh, I love her. I love her too. What do we? She no, wore the dozen. She wore the dozen, and um. Oh, wait, there's definitely some more. Mm-hmm. Uh, congratulations. Find a cigar. My club has to offer. Everybody loves you. Pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> Bet Jerry. Get married. Won't be alone. You can't be alone. You can't be alone. It's a weird um, wedding video. Uh, he lied. Love you too. Okay. Oh. I feel like he had this big epiphany and then we're just going back to normal. Mm hmm. Jerry, I'm glad to see you finally made it. How can I make your life better? Where is our offer from Arizona? And my husband has a whole plan. When you know we deserve the big four. Shoe, car. Clothing line, soft drink, entered in marketing, baby, and so did my husband. We came to play. <gasps> I'm stressed. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up? Came here to let you go. Pardon me? Came here to fire you, Jerry. 
What? It's real. You should say something. What? In crowded restaurants won't be a scene. Is he his boss? Yeah, I feel confused with that part too, and he looks way too happy to be doing this. Self. You said fewer clients, you put it all down on paper. You know what I went through? Knowing I was gonna have to fire my mentor? Oh. And Jesus. <laughs> You'll lose. Now I want all my clients and yours too. Whatever. Oh, baby. Like fire of ambition. Oh, no. Wendy, bring me my numbers. Well, this guy seems like a jerk. Yeah. It's Kush. Kush! I'm calling you first because you're the most important guy in sports. Oh, this is the guy that... He's supposed to be high school. Get back. Dad! Mm. Yeah! It's one of the agents. Cushman's line is busy. You keep calling him. Please bring me my number. And I just wanted to be the first to tell you that I was talking to Doritos about you. And Hold on. Talk to Rick, okay? Martinez. Um, oh, this seems so scummy. All of it. What does your heart tell you? I'm sorry to hear that. Or are you out? It's not show friends, it's show business. This, oh, I hate this guy. Hey, if, if we weren't right in the middle of the accurate deal, no, I'd go with you. Rod, Rod, Jerry. I hate everything. Yeah. He's gotta get one. What am I doing? <gasps> this is the scene. I'm sweating my contract. And I hear what you're saying, and that's what this is this is whose wife came in? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But do you truly hear what I'm saying? I just got someone. Didn't you tell my wife more personal attention? I am a valuable commodity. I go across the middle. I see a dude coming at me, trying to kill me. Get killed. Catch the ball. Booyah. Touchdown. I love the confidence. R Rod. I went to Arizona State. Rod. I'm a sun devil. Nobody's looking out for Rod Tidwell. We don't know where we're going to live in a year. Hey, I need a decision from you. Are you in or are you out? I have a family to support. Hear me? I want my new contract. But I like you. Yes, I like you, Jerry. My wife likes you. You're good to my wife. Yeah, this is the part. I will stay with you. That's, that's great. I'm You've seen this scene. Uh -huh. So it's not romantic or anything. <laughs> it's the show me the money scene. I don't scene. remember this. It's a very personal, very important thing. Are you ready, Jerry? I'm ready. Show me the money. This is the exact part. Show me the money. Hey! Say it with me one time, Jerry. Show you the money. What mean it, Show you the money. Show yes. me the money. Yes. Hey, brother, but you got to go! Let's <laughs> His brother in the back. I know. <laughs> Show me the money! I'm not black people! I'm black people! Show me the money! Congratulations, you're still my agent. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not gonna do what you all think I'm gonna do, which is just flip out! <laughs> that there is such a thing as manners. These fish have manners. In fact, they're coming with me. I'm starting a new company, and the fish will come with me. Oh, Sentimental, gosh. they're coming with me. Come on, come on. What is happening right now? He's losing it a bit. If anybody else wants to come with me, something real and fun and inspiring, we will do it together. Who's coming with me? No, 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 no don't, don't ask, ask that. Don't ask that. Who's coming with me? This is embarrassing. Wendy, shall we? No, I'm three months away from the pay increase. Okay. Okay. Wendy! Would you go? I will Maybe. go with you. <gasps> Dorothy Boyd, thank you. Oh, I hate him. We'll see you all again. Sleep tight. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep tight. Don't panic. We're gonna be okay. I mean, we are... We're gonna be great. I'm kind of feeling the fiance isn't sticking around. If you had read what he wrote, you would have left with him. And he finally got in touch with my anger. Oh, hey, you go <laughs> God, what did I do? You stood up for what you believe. Yeah. You go to Texas. You keep one superstar, and they'll all follow. There's no real loyalty, and I will not let you fail. You okay. are Jerry Muff. Wire. You are not a loser. Who said anything about loser? I meant something else. When do you want to leave? She's like trying to convince herself because yeah. I feel like that matters to her is his... You got this, Jerry. Jerry freaking McGuire. I'm in the back end, Jerry. We spent a lot of time together, Matt. But frankly, I'm quite concerned. You stay with SMI. I think your son... We decided to stay with you. Yeah. Oh. 
can't let go. <laughs> you know, he shows up, we stick with him. <laughs> Kush. How are you, Kush? Is Kush he's high school or college? Because he looks 40. <laughs> I think he's coming out of college yeah. probably then. Either be Denver or San Diego trading up to take him. But well, Denver's where he should be. I'll give it everything. You know I don't do contracts. What you do have is my word. And it's stronger than oak. Oh, I want this to work. <laughs> He's trying to find a jam song. <laughs> Jerry Maguire. Hi. Dorothy, we are back. I re-signed Kush. We're set. Rod, being at the draft with me is a good idea. Trust me. Just get on the plane. Meet us at the gate, okay? Right. Kush! <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, right man. Jerry, we should really be selling these. It's okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I feel like I'm five years late for the prom. Nobody gives a damn about me being here. Because I want every media guy, you have everybody to see you for what you are. The best kept secret in the NFL. The most commanding... I believe, I believe! Keep, keep it coming, he's like... <laughs> I'll be charismatic. You are the man. You are the man. Oh, I want you to meet Rod Tidwell right now. How Here's you doing, my man? Ten Just meet Rod Tidwell. Up, yes, okay. yes, there we go, there we go. ESPN, here we go. Hey, Jerry, where are my endorsements? You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't getting no love from Chevy. And get no love from Pepsi? Rod, gotta get back to Cushman. Oh, you gotta get back to your golden paycheck? Oh, wait, just, I'll boil it down. Reebok. All they do is ignore me. About five minutes, you unloaded that rather large chip right there on your shoulder. You were brilliant. You're loving me now, aren't you? I'm not about love, I'm about showing you the money! <laughs> <laughs> San Diego just came in with a last minute scenario. Well, he's got to go number one. Oh, he still goes number one. Diego wants to trade up with Denver, and they want him bad. This stuff tends to happen the night before a draft. People get crazy. San Diego is crazy to the tune of seven years for 30. Signing bonus of eight. I've been calling all night long. You just be friendly, and you say no comment. I'm nervous. Me too. I don't remember anything. I feel like something's bad. Where's McGuire there? Just uh, sniff for something if he's there. All right, buddy, dude, just remember. You let your dad do all the talking. Remember, I'm the one that got you the deal you needed. This is business, not friendship. Oh. Okay, buddy. I'll see you later. No comment. They playing it? The dad, too? Yeah, I feel so shocked. But What's why in it for them? Yeah, why would they do that? I think we should put something down on paper. I'm with Jerry McGuire. Not right now, Jerry. You fellas aren't talking with Bob. Bob Sugar, are you? Denver wanted to deal with him instead of you. <laughs> I'm learning as I go here. So you oh. know Bob Sugar to deal with Denver behind my back. I love my son. I love your son. I love your son. You let that snake in the door. I'll fix this whole thing up for you. You didn't sign anything with Sugar, right? I thought you don't do contracts, Matt. She did that to get around it. You're as solid as oak. Your word. We signed an hour ago. <gasps> you were in the lobby with the black fella. I'm sorry, Jerry. I just want to play football. Oh, I need justice. It's all about you, isn't it? Soothe me. Save me. Make the sale. Get it signed. There shouldn't be confusion okay. about that. What was our deal when we first got together? Brutal truth, remember? I think you added the brutal. There is a sensitivity thing that some people have. I don't have it. I don't cry at movies. I don't gush at <laughs> Losers who cry at <laughs> movies. Yikes. <laughs> but I do love you. Avery. Nope. It's over. Didn't hear it. Listen to me. And you can't be alone. It's over. No one has ever dumped me. I want her to hurt me, Jim. I'm too strong for you. Loser. Oh my god. Not just one, but like Wait, the hook yeah. and the knee. You're loving me now, aren't you? Very much. 24 hours ago, man, it was hot. Now, I'm a cautionary tale, because I'm cloaked in failure. 
I had two slices of bad pizza, went to bed, and grew a conscience. Well, boo. Who? <laughs> My next contract got to bring me the dollars that'll last me and mine a very long time. I just want someone to just, like, come through for him. Yeah, well, just be like, yeah, that really sucks. And yeah. his girlfriend's like, him a little. suck it up. And this is like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> He's coming over. Tonight? Just lost his best client. Dorothy, this is not a guy. Early midlife. I'm not saying a thing. Honey, he's <laughs> engaged. And for the first time in my professional life, I'm part of something that I believe in. But he better not be good looking. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry McGuire. Oh. I'm her disapproving sister, Laurel. Honesty. Mm. Thank you. I don't think he's in a good place right now. He's definitely not in a good place. I'm so glad you're home. Yeah, loan thing. It's not my uh, specialty. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I broke up with Avery. <laughs> no, it's it's better because we're still gonna be friends. And oh really? I heard. No kidding. Dorothy, this guy would go home with a gardening tool right now if it showed interest. You have always been very responsible with Ray. I think it's right for him to wake up and hear some strange man's voice. Oh, as opposed to ten angry women. Whoa! <gasps> Lean forward. Okay, I've got it. Edible. Change your shirt. Still edible. <laughs> oh. oh. Hi, Jerry. Aren't, uh, you supposed to be in bed? Yeah. I won't tell. I think it's this one. You should be dreaming about me, baby. My agent should be thinking Rod Tidwell. Who is it? Who is this? <laughs> the Rod Tidwell. I need to speak with my agent. Are you a football player? I'm a school teacher about to walk your ass. Be practical. All right, which top? High turtleneck sensible or low v-neck sexy? <laughs> <laughs> know what other women my age are doing right now? I'm trying to keep a man, not me, Laurel. I'm trying to raise a man. African-American, make the connection. You talk too much. No, 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 only a limited form of communication. Do you buy Ron? Je Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say one thing. You do listen to me. They're adorable. Yeah. I love how they like, I'm just going to say this one thing and then they've, <laughs> they've been talking forever. You can't do this. Sexy uh, v-neck yeah. or <laughs> sexual turtleneck. He should leave, but I warmed up chicken yeah. salsa. <laughs> just my whole life I've been trying to talk. I mean, but no one wants to listen to me. You know that feeling? They just look at you. They just... Let's go to the zoo. The <laughs> zoo is closed, right? Ooh. <gasps> is that... I won't tell. Oh. <laughs> oh, we should get our voices down. Have a little boy sleep. Right. <laughs> little speech before I go. Do not worry. We are just fine. You still have a job. But let me tell you something about Jerry Maguire. What the fireworker? <laughs> yeah. I am a survivor. <laughs> she kept the fish. We meet again. <laughs> I care about the job, but mostly I just want to be inspired. Yeah. I'm working with you because of that memo. It's a mission statement. Mm -hmm. I love that memo. It's a mission statement. <laughs> no. Oh. oh. Well. Too much. You know that feeling? You're not. Completely embarrassed, but you glimpse tomorrow's. Don't oh. worry about it, boss. Oh, you said boss. Yeah. Harassing you right now. May not too. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. I'm stressed. Me too. For her. For him. For the business. Yeah. And I am gonna take my one client. We are gonna go all the way. Yeah, we are. I, maybe it's all sports agents. You just always have to be like selling On, something. And, yes. Yeah. That would be very hard. Uh, good catch, man. Good catch. Okay, man. Oh, oh shit. I still can't get over the whole contract and don't need it stronger than oak. Yeah. Ten million dollars for four years. It's early. You're still dreaming. The guy's got an attitude problem. Yeah, well, he listens to me. Yeah. I can help you with that. Rod Tidwell broke every receiving record you had last. I want somebody who's 6'3", 220. Not some guy who's... Why? I'm asking you for a favor. 
Don't do this to me. We have history, Dennis. You drove the prices up on me for years. Now it's your turn to spend some time at the back of the line. Dennis, Dennis, don't, don't. Listen, Rod, I, I say this with great respect for you. Those players you mentioned, Rod, they're marquee players. This is a renegotiation. We want more from them, so let's give them more. Let's bury the attitude a little bit and show them <laughs> to get back to the guy who first started this game. I guess. But it wasn't about the money. What's Seriously. Do your job. Don't you tell me to dance. And I do not start preseason without a contract. Gary, <gasps> talk to me. I am out here for you. God, help me. Help me. Help you. <laughs> what is happening here? You are hanging on by a very thin thread. <laughs> And I dig that about you! <laughs> I just need, like, something to start going right, though. I know. Dennis Wilburn called from Arizona, faxing in the new offer for Tidwell on Thursday morning. He said you'd be happy. <laughs> That's good. That's, That's good. good. Yeah, we could sure use that commission to run down on where you stand financially. Look, the other night, I want to apologize. What happened there? You know, we're two people working together we can't have. Mm, no, I'm, I'm really relieved that you said that. You walked out on a job for me. This is how I pay you. Can this be right? This is one of those times when you need to be alone. Alone, alone, alone. You want to go out to dinner? I know a great place. So where are you taking her tonight? Are you, you're the nanny, is that? Au pair. Jerry! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Look, Ray, I got some gifts for you. The Arizona Cardinals. This was uh, the team that Rod plays for. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, you're very welcome. Oh, she looks so pretty. Yeah. Looks like you've got a fan. It's more than a dress. That's an Audrey Hepburn movie. Give me a hug. Oh. Oh. That'll melt anybody's heart. I know. Oh. Oh. Oh, be careful. I know. I'm nervous for her. That is the first time I have ever seen him kiss a man just like a dad. He must really have been needing that. Take it easy. Don't cry at the beginning of a date. Just cry at the end like I do. Cry at the end. I know. I'm nervous. No, she's too excited. You can't be this good this soon. Oof. How can you resist that smile? No, her fetch. Smile. Ever since you met me. I've been <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's stressing me out. Somebody is always to blame. But maybe love shouldn't be such a hard work. Let's not tell our sad stories. <gasps> oh! She went for it. Yeah. And I like that. And it was much better mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. that first time. Yeah, the swerve was bad. <sighs> Take it slow. They're still on the doorstep. Yes, they are still <laughs> on the doorstep. <laughs> this is getting very complicated. Mm -hmm. I think you should not come in. Or come in. <laughs> I want him to want her for her, not just because he's lonely, he's lonely. and going through and this tough like time. Like all those girls said, yeah, he's never he can't been alone. be alone. Not a with sport boy. Still going. Jet. Treat her right. I know this might be a little bit awkward, but uh, I want you to use this. This is Miles Davis and John Coltrane. Buzz Gill. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chad, I got it. <laughs> He's playing the jazz. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, they want it. Yeah. I want them to... But be together, I don't, but also this is too fast. Too fast. And they work together. Literally only them two. I'm worried that you're putting all your faith in this guy. He might not have an emotional marble in his head. So why should I let this guy go? Everything in my body says this one is the one. <laughs> That's to tell you uh -huh. that I love him. <laughs> love him, and I don't care what you think. Oh boy. Hi, Jerry. <gasps> Tell me he's not there. He's not there. Easy, ladies, easy. Oh my gosh, I can't handle it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't handle it's it. It's so cringe. I can't handle it. 
I... One point seven for three years? Man, we owe more than that. So this is how the game is played. I'm gonna go back to them. Feel like crying, Jerry. That's more than they owe. Somebody give me Bob Sugar on the phone. That was low. What do you stand for? A little piece of integrity. He is oh. broke and working for you for free. You're gonna play out your existing contract. You're gonna go be a free agent next year. It's a risk. You know. So he's gonna, but then he doesn't get anything. Yeah, he'll still get when he's a free agent, and then well, the next year though. Yeah. What do you know about dating a single mother? No, plenty. I was raised by a single mother. You gotta be fair to her. A single mother, man, that's a sacred thing. You gotta have the talk. She loves you. If you don't love her, you've got to tell her. A real man would not shoplift the pooty from a single mother. I didn't shoplift the pooty. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the right thing, Dorothy. Bye. Wait, there's a lot of changes right now. Yeah, this is a big. I feel this is a big yeah, change. I. This one you're gonna like. You make a lot of friends. I'm gonna see you this weekend. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and go. That hurt my heart. Mine too. I love you. <gasps> I love you too. Go back and read what you wrote. You're better than the rest of them. You're better than the Bob Sugars. Don't forget that. I know a way we can save on medical and rent. Or if we got married. No. Will you marry me? I know a way we can save on medical and rent. Really romantic. <laughs> oh gosh. Getting married. To you, Jerry Maguire. Take this woman to be your lover. What? I now pronounce you husband and wife. This is really big. This is crazy, and right? Very fast, and I am confused. Is, is he did he take this seriously enough? I don't know. We did it. You fuck this up, I'll kill you. <laughs> Didn't have the talk, did you? Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. McGuire, you will have a great season. <laughs> oh. He's having a good game. I know, every time he gets hit. I just feel like they put it into the universe about the injury. Take care of yourself out in that field, you hear? How's your marriage, Jerry? Not everyone has what you have. Are we really friends? Friends can tell each other anything. I'll tell you why you don't have your $10 million yet. You are a paycheck player. Your personal life, hard. But when you get on the field, it's all about what you didn't get, who's to blame, who underthrew the past, who's got the contract. That is not what inspires people. Play the game from your heart. And you know what? I will show you the quan. He did it. He's right. Mm -hmm. He kind of needed to hear that, though. Yeah, he did. I want to be friends no more. <laughs> and quit using that word, quan. That's my word. I'm all heart, mother... Yep, he needed that talk. Mm -hmm. I don't care if he's mm -hmm. mad for a minute. How many concussions has he had? This is supposed to be a love story. I can't remember I know. how it ends. Why do you love me? Kiri, can I come in and watch TV? In just just a minute, for a few sweetheart. minutes, buddy. He is so good with him. I know. It's my fault. It's not fair to you. Tell me. I took advantage of you. I'm not alone. I did this with a kid. I thought that, that I was in love for both of us. I pretended that proposal by the car was real. Oh. I think we made a mistake. I don't like to give up. My need to make the best of things and your need to be responsible. Let's just call this next road trip what it really is. A nice long break. What about break? Well, you'll be friends. Oh my gosh. He's not even, he's not fighting for it. He doesn't love her. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. You know this isn't easy for me. He's not denying it. I, in her heart, she wants him to deny all of that. On one hand, I'm like proud of her. But on the other hand, I want to like just shake him. Yeah. Like why can't anything get through to him? Oh my gosh. No, this is uncool to do this now, Ron, but you belong with the big boy. Oh, Ron. It's a nice moment for you. I'm gonna let you have it. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Just like I want him to love her because he loves her, not situationally, I want him to love Rod because Rod changed and it's humbled himself and played from his heart and not because he's his only client. Yes, yes. If Arizona wins tonight and next week, the Cardinals will make the playoffs. <laughs>
Oh, I get nervous. Swenson looks that way. But he's catching him. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah, but. Dallas leading by three. A blitz, and down he goes. Dang it. Swenson protected. Went to the end zone. Touchdown. He got hurt. I don't know. He's not getting up. All of a sudden, he. It's Jerry Maguire. He called. He yeah. called her. He's unconscious. Call you back. There's there's good doctors on the field. Just stay calm. No, I am freaking here. Please, we just, we gotta stay calm. My whole oh, life is this like family, and it does no work it. without him. All eyes here at Sun Devil's. <laughs> just do whatever you can to get right to me. Hope that his family is not watching this. Oh. <sighs> Rod. Let's get him off the field. Just, just let me enjoy this for a minute. Oh my god! <laughs> he should probably still get like an MRI or yeah. something. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so let me enjoy this for a second. The dentist. That's the one who didn't give him the original yeah. contract. Mm -hmm. Show me the money. Don't let it get to your head, Rod. I know. He's like, I need 20 million. <laughs> You did it. I mean, these stupid holidays are making me feel more divorced. You better do this right. Hello? Hello? I'm looking for my wife. And this is where it has to happen. I'm not letting you get rid of me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use your words. Our little project, our company. Very, very big night. But it wasn't complete because I couldn't share it with you. I miss my wife. I work in a business of tough. I love you. You complete me. And I just had. Just shut up. You had me at hello. That's the line comes from you. This has just been handed to me. It's signed. It's a contract. Arizona Cardinals. Four years. Eleven point two million dollars. Come on. Whoa! Jerry Maguire. You are my ambassador, Quan man. Huh? <laughs> oh, they swinging him again, like at the airport. <laughs> oh, I was scared there for a that second. Was... I could not remember how it ended, and I'm like, wait, do they get divorced and then we're okay with that? Like, I am like, can't leave it like that, right? Yeah, that oh. was crazy. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. What are your thoughts? Finally watched it. I think I loved it, but there are also <laughs> some parts where I just feel like I had like emotional whiplash. Yes. Like all of a sudden, I'm just like, Jerry, just get something right, you know? And all of a sudden mm -hmm. he's getting married and I'm like, wait, I think I'm happy for the love story, but like I could have used a little more development there so I could be cheering for it just a little bit more. And then all of a sudden it was like broken. I'm like, what's the timeline I here? know. You know, like, is this a couple weeks? A whole football season? I actually season? Like, I don't, don't know. know the timeline. Yeah, I guess it's a, it was a football season. I mean, like, I guess he stayed out the remaining of his contracts. So I'm thinking that's just one season, yeah. but still it's a lot for one season. I mean, whoo, but Ray was the cutest the boy that's ever existed. Oh my gosh. Those little glasses and spiky hair, I just <gasps> can't handle it. And he loved him so easy. And I feel I like know. sometimes in life and in movies, mm -hmm. that's like the burden of the relationship, yeah. but it wasn't at all. Like yeah, he just loved like, him so easily. Mm -hmm, right from the beginning. That's so true. That's so true. And I kind of loved their normalness. Like, mm. you know, like it wasn't fairy tale the whole time. Yeah. She stood up for herself. She wasn't yes. a pushover. I really liked her as mm -hmm. a female leader. Yeah, really she was her. so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was funny. Wanted to be inspired yes. and like, what yeah. after for what she wanted. And she was awkward and I liked it. Mm -hmm. And he, he looked good. Okay, I was thinking that the whole time. Yeah. I'm like, this is, I think that that's Tom Cruise's best looking, looking movie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I feel like like we know him best as Ethan. He's like so serious and yes. gets the job done. Mm -hmm. And like it was kind of just fun to see him like he <laughs> 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 said. I like hated it when he did it, but I still I liked know. it. I know. Yeah. I know. You just were cheering for him and mm -hmm. in the end like we got our happy ending mm -hmm. for all parties. I was entertained, involved. happy ending. Yeah. Checks all my boxes. Yeah. It was fun. It was like a, it was totally different than yes, normal chick flicks. Watch. And yeah, yeah. And even that, the normal uh -huh. chick flicks. Well, I mean, that's like combined sports and rom coms. I'm like, yes. my two loves coming yeah. together. I love yeah. it. Yeah. It was it. it was fun. It had a good story. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. fun. It was a lot of fun. I loved it. I loved it. I didn't remember so much of it. So I think that was the second watch that was even better. Okay. Love it. Thank you so much for watching along with us. Have a wonderful night. Show me the money! <laughs>